Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Ain't We Got Fun. Today I wanted to review some mascara. I'm doing a bit of a cleanup and planning to throw these away. So these are pretty old and some of them have been repurchased since you're supposed to throw your mascara out around every three to six months. And some came with other makeup. So before I get started, I have pretty straight lashes that don't always stay curled and I don't think they're particularly long and if a mascara doesn't really make my lashes a lot longer, I don't really mind. I prefer volume and keeping the curl over lengthening. So first one here, this is a sample primer from Estee Lauder. It's black. I don't think this one did a lot for me but they said that you can use this under mascara or over mascara to make it waterproof. I think it's kind of a good idea, but I'm not really into multiple steps with mascara. This is Maybelline Lash Sensational. I do like this one. I think it does a great job holding the curl. And this is Voluminous Butterfly Sculpt. I do tend to choose waterproof mascara. It can get watery eyes at times throughout the day, but Sometimes they can be sort of clumpy. The ones from Maybelline and most of the ones from L'Oreal I don't think get too clumpy with the waterproof formulas. And this one I think did pretty good for keeping the curl and adding volume. I would repurchase that one. This one I think I have repurchased a couple of times. The Maybelline Colossal Big Shot. It has kind of a straight and uh, narrowing brush and keeps my curl all day. Another one I've repurchased a few times, Maybelline the Colossal Volume Express, waterproof again. This one also I really like. I think my lashes just happen to do a lot better with the Maybelline and L'Oreal formulas. This one I believe I've only purchased once. I think that a lot of people like this, but this one gets pretty clumpy on me. Um, I don't know if it's just a dry formula or because it's the waterproof formula. Maybe maybe people really like the regular formula. But I probably wouldn't buy this one again because of how clumpy it gets. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. This one pretty much doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't hold the curl. Um, it might add some length, but I'd, I really don't like it that much. And this last one here is the Buxom Big Tees. Plumping mascara. This one doesn't really do anything for my lashes either. It might add some length, but I don't believe I noticed it helped hold the curl at all. And both this and the Tarte one were not waterproof, but I didn't really notice that being an issue. I probably didn't get watery eyes while I was wearing those ones, but I wouldn't purchase this one again either. This is this and the Tarte one are the smaller sizes, so they came with other makeup, so they were worth trying out since they came in a set. So those were my mascaras that I am planning to throw out. Like I said, most of the Colossal Maybelline ones, the L'Oreal Voluminous ones have been working out great for me and I've used them for years now. I hope you guys found that interesting or helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!